We do a lot of content revolving around streaming, streaming setups, stream tutorials, tips and tricks, and how to stream in general. While yes, this is primarily a PC hardware tech and gaming channel, these things aren't exclusive to just gamers and game streamers. With the pandemic currently keeping gatherings of people to a minimum, musicians, DJs, churches, teachers, educators, and other people like them have flooded the comment sections of a lot of our stream-related content. And then Restream.io reached out to tell us about a feature that lets Zoom video conferencing be restreamed simultaneously to various services such as Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, Facebook, and more. If there was a time for a video like this to make sense, that time is now. My name is Chris, this is Collision Gaming, and today I'll be your stream technician. Real quick, if you're new around here and are into PC hardware tech streaming tutorials, news and reviews, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. I also stream every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific at twitch.tv slash Coalition Gaming Crew. So if you want to stop in, give us a follow and talk some tech, be my guest. Anyways, let's get to the video. So like I mentioned in the intro, Zoom has the functionality to send your video conference out via something called a custom RTMP. If you aren't aware of what Zoom is, it's a video conferencing service that is extremely popular right now for obvious reasons. Anyways, the first paid tier enables the aforementioned functionality. A feature like this allows you to send the Zoom session to Restream.io, which can then send it to any associated streaming service, be that YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, or even Mixer. This can greatly widen the potential reach and audience, especially considering that Zoom sessions do have a limit on how many people can sit in and view them. So if you've got something important you want to share with the world, your students, your coworkers, your friends, your colleagues, or even extended family, this can help. Let's get down to the desktop to show you how to set this up. So here we are at the desktop and uh, let's go ahead and pull zoom up on the screen. That will be switching over to the desktop screen and there we are. So once you're at this screen and you're logged in with your paid version of uh, zoom, not the free one, but just one step up to the paid one. The you'd be good to go with the with the option that you need. Log in, go to your account, go over to settings. And then once you're in here, click in a meeting advanced. Then once you're at here, scroll down all the way until you see allow live streaming meet, live streaming meetings. Go ahead and check that. And uh, custom live streaming service is the one that you want. And so for here, you can post the website that you want them to go to. Check all these, whatever you want, but whatever the case is, custom live streaming service. So if you want them to go to your YouTube channel, you just type in the channel that it would be or your Facebook profile or your Twitter profile, whatever the put, whatever it is here, social media streaming profile here. That's what goes in that spot. Then go ahead and save. Settings updated. All right. And so once you that is set, you want to click host a meeting up here, select it with whatever option you want. We're going to put with video off and you'll see this. Uh, go ahead and just execute whatever it's asking for in order to get Zoom to open up. So we're going to be opening it up right now and go ahead and join the meeting once it's up, because then that's where we need to go to get the additional uh, options that we need to tie this in to restream. Okay, and so here we are. We're going to join with computer audio. And so this is what you'd be looking at. We're going to go over to more than live on custom live streaming service. I'm going to click that. You're going to get a screen that looks like this. And this is where you switch over to your restream in order to grab the information. So just switch over to restream right here. The streaming URL. Uh, let's see here. Streaming URL will be this one that's in your restream dashboard and uh, let's switch back to it you post that there and the streaming key would be this one right here that's in your restream dashboard so then we post that there live streaming page url and again this is where you post the link that uh that you want to want them to click on to go watch your stream. So like uh, Twitch, let's say put Twitch link here, whatever the case is. 
but you want to put a valid URL. We type this to twitch.tv slash coalition gaming two. And there we go. Actually, I think you have to put the HTTPS colon slash slash and there it is. So now it's going to start preparing. And just like that, you see, here's the Twitch page that got pulled up and it shows Chris say that's who's you, who's me that's already in here. And if people were to come in here, it would start showing them pop up there. Anything that would be coming through the Zoom meeting would be showing in through there. And this is broadcasting through all these services here on Restream. So speaking of Restream, to create an account, it's free. All you have to do is just sign up with your email address. And once you're signed up, you get a screen that looks like this. And I'm currently live, so you see Zoom over here because that's what I was showing you previously from the first half of the step. But let's say you wanted to go out to more services. You do that through here after you sign up. You click Add Channel and Restream. You click whatever services you want. Look at all these channels. Facebook Live, Mixer, Twitch, YouTube, Periscope by Twitter, um, all sorts of stuff. DLive, LinkedIn. I didn't know you could do that on LinkedIn, but there you go. And you can add any or all of these. I mean, depending on the tier, because there are paid restream versions that you can add more of them or you can stream to multiples of the same, which is pretty neat, actually. So I went ahead and added Twitch and YouTube. And all you got to do in order to turn those on is click the slider and that will enable that. And uh, if you have the sliders all enabled for all your all your streaming services, then once you do the Zoom stuff that I showed you, it will go out to all those services. If you guys want a, a video explaining the process in more detail, how to get up and running with Restream.io quickly, we'll have a video to that link down in the description below or right over here. Or is it over here? Well, either be up here or down in the description below. Make sure you check that out. Full tutorial on getting Restream up and running right there. And there you have it. That is showing you how to use Zoom to broadcast through Restream to go out to as many services as you can add on Restream. It's very simple, very straightforward. Does require a paid Zoom version in order to be able to accomplish it. But hey, you know, you got to pay for extra features like that. And that's just how it is sometimes. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you click that thumbs up. If you found it informative or useful, drop a comment down below. Let us know. Let's talk about this. I'm always happy to help not just PC gamers and tech enthusiasts when it comes to streaming help and streaming tutorials. Uh, it's always nice to help everybody who is going to be looking into streaming. And this can help anybody using Zoom for what they need to do to reach a broader audience, which is great. Uh, anyways, that's it for me today. My name is Chris. This is Coalition Gaming. I've been your stream technician, and we'll see you in the next video.